Okay, in this lesson, we are going to talk about these five things, paper prototypes and how we use them. Then we are going to horizontal prototypes, what are vertical prototypes, T prototype and local prototype. We are going to cover all these. I'm going to give you the examples. And first we are going to go through the paper prototype. Now paper prototypes are the best and easiest way and the cheapest way to create any prototype at the spot like you can see over here. Here is a paper prototype of uh, different screens of booking process of this train app. You can see over here, this is the login screen. This is dashboard, this is booking. And then we have the seats and trains. And then we have seat details, you can see over here. Then we have a few more filling the details, booking details and uh, so on and so forth, okay. So uh, what are uh, the horizontal prototype, okay. So I'm going to give you example from using these paper prototypes I have over here. Horizontal prototype, as the name suggests, it is going to be in this direction. Direction means that uh, if I am building a horizontal prototype, uh, you can see over here this dashboard uh, if i build a horizontal prototype for this dashboard screen there are four interactive elements over here or maybe this five so what i'm going to do is if user clicks over here they i am going to design these four and five more screens that are going to be linked to this dashboard but on the other hand i am not going to create in-depth booking process so if someone clicks on the book tickets he's going to see the next screen for booking uh, like this one booking plan but after he clicks over here he's not going to go to any other screen he's going to go back to dashboard why because we are not testing the detailed workflow of any of these uh, features over here okay so uh, so this is going to be uh, our horizontal prototype very limited in this direction it is going to cover mostly the information architecture or the navigation of your website so if you have like 10 categories you are going to create 10 pages and user is just going to tap on any of them to visit that page okay so this is about a uh, horizontal prototype now vertical prototype this is going to be in the depth so vertical means you that you are going down deep down in in the ground okay so right now if i show you the vertical prototype for booking ticket so it is going to hit or it is going to be specific to one feature or one function of your app or website okay so i am going to build a vertical prototype for book tickets which i have done over here so if you click on book tickets this is going to be the next screen booking plan you are going to select date and your route and you are going to see the seat availabilities okay and up next you are going to see the seat and trains then you are going to get the details of seat details for more expanding more of this train you have selected then you can click on this book ticket now and you are going to go to this booking details okay so uh, after you select your details you are going to go to the let me show you this one last screen which I have designed payment options you have three payment options you select one of them it is highlighted and you uh, select uh, this button is going to change pay with UBL Wiz card and you are going to tap over here and your payment will be done okay so this is an example of a vertical prototype now T prototype uh, as the name suggests you can see over here this is horizontal and this is vertical so in the T prototypes, we are going to mix horizontal and vertical prototype. So let me show you here we have like, uh, here we have this login screen. Let me show you here we have this login screen for this same app, uh, train booking app. And uh, if you go to this T prototype, if I build just this login screen and this sign up screen, it is going to be my T prototype because I am, uh, I can view these two screens horizontally and uh, then I can uh, go to this screen, this one. Okay, also if you build four different screens, first screens for this, these three functions and go into detail only this one. Okay, still it will be your T prototype. So uh, one feature you are going to test in depth, others you are going to, you are not going to test in depth. There will be one or two screens for each of them, okay. 
okay then we are going to come to this uh, local prototype okay now what local prototype means is that uh, we are going to test just a specific area of your app okay so maybe if uh, we have uh, this like uh, forgot forget password feature okay we want to test different layouts or different uh, workflows of this forget password feature we are only going to test this okay so maybe uh, if i tap on it i the next screen will be uh, that type your email to get your password so uh, this is my first idea and if i tap it again or maybe in the next uh, prototype idea if i tap over here i get to a screen where i just put my mobile number okay so maybe this forgot password it asked me for mobile number in one prototype in another one uh, it asked me for email uh, in another one it, it calls me on my phone okay so these are different options you can try for this one so if you are focusing on just one element on your inside your whole app on one single screen you are going to use this local prototype okay so this is all about paper prototypes horizontal vertical t prototype local prototype uh, all these types and how you are going to use paper prototypes so what uh, normally we do is we show the user the first screen and this is going to be hidden these screens next screens will be hidden so let me show you these three screens i am going to do something like um, this okay so i'm going to hide these screens and i'm going to show my user this screen not this one okay so this is logo welcome text okay enter your mobile number password and i'm uh, i want him or her to uh, think out aloud means they are going to say okay i want to put my mobile number here i want to put my password over here and then i'm going to press login okay so after that i am going to slide it like this and i'm going to show them this dashboard or maybe slide it towards them and once they see this dashboard they are going to focus on it okay this is and these are my book seats these are my pending tickets these are my cancelled tickets okay so i want to book ticket okay before that i i want to make sure that my user uh, she knows that uh, i am uh, uh, i want her to book some tickets okay so let me remove this tag over here to show you the top over here this is pakistan railways help and profile okay so uh, hello asan and these are this is your dashboard all your booked and cancelled and pending tickets and then you have only four things you can do over here so i want her to test just this booking ticket function okay also you can see over here i have numbered them you can see this is zero and this is one this is just to make sure that i don't lose my all my prototype and i don't mix them up and when i need to you know uh, combine them i uh, i get confused okay uh, one more thing you can see i have taped this this is very easy in paper prototypes you can just um, use another paper and join it with the first screen or the portion you want if you want just to change these buttons you can rip it off and you can attach uh, another piece of paper okay so i think this is all about paper prototypes uh, and uh, horizontal prototypes working vertical prototypes I think we have covered all of them and uh, let's move on to the next lesson.